नमस्ते Namaste. What do you think about my Indian outfit? This was a gift from the General Consul of India. Now I am going to his home to see how is their lifestyle. Namaste. Namaste. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Welcome to Thank the you. Oh, nice Please. Hand. Close the door. Chandramoli is the general consul of wow. India in Erbil. He is 46 years old and has been living in Kuristan Welcome. for more than two years. Yes, yes, it is a bit older person, yeah. like um, from our time. Okay. So I don't think. You are not so old, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you know, old and young is a relative term. He is welcoming us kindly at his home and invites me directly to play this Indian special game. This is a special game, I think. What is it? <laughs> this is called the carom board. Carom board. Yeah. It was uh, started in India in around 19th century. Oh, in so a old. kingly house. Yeah, it's it's mm. uh, quite old. How how are you gonna play it? Now you you start. This is what sort of we if we can correlate. This is sort of billiards. Yeah. In billiards you have cue. Yeah. And you strike with a white ball. Ball, yes. Here we call this a striker. Mm -hmm. And these are called caramen. Caramen. Yes. White and black, yeah. and the central one is queen. <laughs> It is a, like uh, United Nations offices and like many other consulate, it is also a non-family station for us. Mm -hmm. So we are living alone. That is yeah. why my government doesn't want me to stay very long time. Yeah, so you miss your family actually. Yes, yes, you know, we are without family, so we have to go back. We go often, but because of this corona thing, yeah. you know, this time it, we are delayed. Who do you miss the most? My family, I would say. Yeah, who in the family? <laughs> <laughs> of course, kids. <laughs> oh, kids. And your wife. <laughs> <laughs> that too, yeah. What do you miss more from India? Apart from that, you know, it's a good place. Kurdistan is a lively place and, you know, we are happy here. Mm. Apart from family, I don't miss anything. Nothing more? Nothing more. Okay, and when you go back to India, what are you going to miss from Kurdistan? From Kurdistan, I'm going to miss the, you know, most hospitable people. They are happy mm. faces, you know. They, they are very hospitable. I mean, uh, with Kurdish friend, when I go to a restaurant or something, they will order so much, you know. Yeah. And <laughs> they will like uh, to, they, they would want whatever is there, they will like to offer. We are having a great conversation, but a nice smell from the kitchen takes our attention. Chandramoli is going to cook a special Indian dish for us. So, yeah, let us join good. for some Indian food. <laughs> Indian food. Yes. Indian food is popular actually. It is tasty. Yes. yes. Delicious. <laughs> what is this actually? What, what, what are you going to cook for us? Uh, I am preparing uh, chicken. Chicken. And, and the I name of the food is? Eh? The name of the food? Chicken curry. Chicken curry, okay. Chicken curry. And I would try to make uh, Indian bread, chapati. Indian bread, chapati. Yeah. Oh, cool. So these two we will we'll try to make. Cool. Shall we start with Shall the chicken curry? Or? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Curry. Ah, lots of baharat here. And India is the house of Bharat, or not? Yes. Do you know about the story? Which story? This Bharat? No, but I think that it comes from India, right? Yes. India, the other name of India is Bharat. 
Bharat is the name of India. The name of India. Yes. How? It is the second name you can say, or maybe first name. India is an English term. Because of the Bharat, or no? What happened in the Middle Eastern ports? Yeah. When the ship was coming from India, it was laden with spices. Mm -hmm. So they were saying the ship is coming from Bharat, Bharat. So gradually the spice came to be known oh, as wow. Bharat. Bharat. Wow, so interesting. Uh, yes. What does it mean, Bharat, actually? Bharat is the, uh, it, it is on the name of the King Bharat. It is the land oh. of Bharat that is called Bharat. बहुत बढ़िया। अच्छी बात होती है क्या? हम्म हम्म हम्म। It's very good। हम्म जो चीज़ नहीं है। तो सामने कम जाम जाम जो जो चीज़ है। Wow। Usually you practice yoga before meals. But Chandramoli tries to teach me some simple yoga exercises because he thinks yoga is an important Indian philosophy. Leaving the consul's home to visit the Indian consulate where Chandramoli spends most of his time. What are you uh, doing daily here at the consulate? Indian consulate is a complete consulate. Mm -hmm. You know, after we started giving visa, all type of visas are issued in this consulate. Thereafter, we have the relationship, commercial relationship, political relationship. We have a full-fledged uh, consular wing where they give visa plus they also attend to the needs of Indian nationals. Mm. Like they want passport. They yeah. came from India, but their passport is not finished. So they have to apply for new passport. Okay. So they can apply in our consulate. We give Are there them. many Indian people here? Uh, what we estimate, we don't have a 100% uh, uh, yeah. strong figure. But what we estimate that uh, there are 8,000 8, to 10,000 people are there in Kurdistan region. Oh. Before the coronavirus thing, yeah. we used to give 30 to 40 visa per day. Okay. Tur tourism or No, study? mostly, mostly they go for uh, medical visa. Aha, medical. Okay. So they go for treatment yeah. and um, there are student visa requests also and but not many tourist visa requests. Okay. In addition to his work, he is also practicing his hobbies here. It's the time to visit an important project of India that is built in Shanadar Park in Erbil, the statue of Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi was born at October 2, 1869. He was an Indian lawyer, anti-colonial nationalist and political figure. who employed non-violent residents to lead the successful campaign for India's independence from British rule. 
and inspired movements for civil rights and freedom across the world. Gandhi spent 21 years in South Africa, then returned to India at the age of 45. Mr. Consul General, could you first uh, tell us something about the project? Whose idea what was this and how did you start it? Yeah, Mahatma Gandhi was born on 2nd October 1869. So in 2019, it was 150th year of Gandhi. And the government of India wanted to promote his ideals in the whole world. Yeah. So it was the genesis of this project. I met um, uh, the present president, uh, Mr. Nechir Van Barjani, in his office, and I gave him the idea that, uh, Mr. President, would it, it would be great if we have a, a statue of Gandhi in Erbil. He said, you have my full support. Wherever you want, we can have that, because I also admire Gandhi. It is a bronze statue, completely uh, made in India, and uh, it was transported to Erbil. And oh. thereafter, we were waiting for an opportune moment to unveil it. And the opportune moment came in September 2019, okay. when our minister visited here. When coastal generals come to a country, they bring also their own messages and the messages of their own countries. And this statue of Gandhi is the message of the Consul General of India for Kurdistan people to know Gandhi more and his great quotes. One of the quotes is, my life is my message and is written on the statue. Kani Halaf Jai Rudao, Erbil.